Bobby Belt here, Dallas Cowboys insider for 105 through the fan in Dallas. And there was a lot of discussion this preseason for the Cowboys about Dak Prescott and potentially playing during these exhibition games. You know, there's debate about whether you wanted to risk injury by putting him out there versus the potential benefit of having him get a few game speed reps in with this new offense. Now that Mike McCarthy is calling plays and Brian Schottenheimer is installing the offense. It's a new scheme, about 30% different, according to Dak Prescott, Mike McCarthy, and Brian Schottenheimer from what Kellen Moore had put into place previously. But what if I told you that the Cowboys believe that he got the most important reps in uh, during the final preseason game against the Raiders? Uh, Dak Prescott was calling plays last Saturday and got rave reviews, even though he tried to downplay it a little bit after the game. Once again, I mean, it's preseason football. The, those guys gave us three coverages on the other side. And so, I mean, I'm not going to you know, sit here on, on my high horse like I just called the Super Bowl or something. So um, <laughs> it was a game and it was fun. It was fun to do and fun to experience that. Now, in order to really understand why these reps were so important as a play caller, uh, you have to jump back to early August when 105 Through the Fan was out in Oxnard, California. Uh, myself, Sean Sharif, RJ Choppy, we got a chance to interview CeeDee Lamb. And CeeDee Lamb had an interesting quote about Dak Prescott and his ownership of the offense. All the offense is in Dak's hands now. Um, it's not necessarily, you know, being called from Mike or Kel mm -hmm. since last year, but now it's all in, it's all on deck. Like however he's feeling versus the coverage. If you like the matchup, we're gonna call that play. If he likes whatever he likes versus zone, he's gonna call that play. So technically, it's all in Dak's hands, and um, yeah, and we move him much faster at a different pace, and just the ability to go out there and play freely is, I mean. You can see it as fun. So are the amount of changes he's making to the plays, like, you know, like, let's say he gets a play in now at the line of scrimmage, are, are there more changes that he's making this year, it seems like, so far in practice than in previous years? Absolutely. Way more. Um, and I've been, well, this is going on my fourth year, but, like, the past three, this is the most in control of the offense that I've seen Dak. I mean, obviously he can make a lot more mm -hmm. changes, but going into the line of scrimmage, us as receivers, we know the other two or three options that he has to change to. So, I mean, with that, I feel like that opens up the game, that opens up Dak's mind, and he doesn't feel so closed, closed off of just predicated to that one play that's being called. So, I mean, granted the defense could give us a man coverage and we call it a zone play, it's obviously not going to work, mm -hmm. right? So now that he has the opportunity to go to, from man to zone, back to man, I mean, it could go either way. You know, so uh, just the ability to, you know, read the defense, read the coverage, and then see what he likes versus the defense, I mean, it's really – Dak versus the D coordinator. So that last point there, that last line from CeeDee Lamb is the one that's especially important, where he says this offense is basically going to be Dak versus the defensive coordinator. We like to talk about these chess matches that coordinators have. You know, Kyle Shanahan against Dan Quinn, that was a big talking point last year. Um, but this is going to be an opportunity for Dak to play that chess game against the opposing defensive coordinator because he's going to be asked to call a lot of these plays at the line of scrimmage. There's going to be a, a default call that comes into the huddle. He'll get up to the line, and the Cowboys are really going to lean on what is a strong trait of Dak Prescott's. Dak Prescott is really good at diagnosing diagnosing what the defense is going to do pre-snap and being able to recognize what they're disguising uh, and then check the team into the right play. And so the Cowboys want him to take ownership of this offense. Mike McCarthy's talked about that all offseason, how he wants this to be Dak's offense. He wants Dak to take control and Dak to be in charge. And so Saturday night against the Raiders, while he had a headset on and he had a play sheet, and that's a little different from what he's going to be doing during the regular season when he's actually at the line of scrimmage and diagnosing things right there on the field, uh, it was good for him to get a chance to get those reps in, those mental reps of calling the game and getting into the flow of the game and, you know, dipping into the playbook a little bit and get an idea of what it's going to be like to attack a defense. He's going to be doing it in real time and from the actual playing field that's the difference here but this is a good chance for him to get those mental reps in get that work in and prepare himself for a lot of responsibility at the line of scrimmage this season for more of our cowboys coverage you can go to 1053thefan.com follow us on twitter at 1053thefan and of course you can find us on your radio dial in dallas on 105.3